Hello friends, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lily, if you're new here, and I'm really, really excited for this video. I need to move this up. I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did my cow print nails. I did some myself a few weeks ago and you guys really, really liked them. You're asking how I did them, and honestly, they were not that hard to do. So I thought I would show you guys, and too, I just thought it'd be fun to paint our nails together. So even if you're not gonna do cow print nails, just like hang out, chill, do some self-care. So, made myself a decaf. Decap, very important word there. Decap ice latte, and it's really, really good. I brought all of my supplies to the table. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I took off my nail polish, and now I'm gonna put my fingers in this just warm water. I like to do this. I feel so weird because you guys can't see me. I like to do this because it softens my cuticles. I'm not gonna like rip my cuticles off like they do at the nail salon, but I am gonna push them back and I just feel like it makes it easier when they're like hot. But you don't wanna obviously put your fingers in like super hot water. So it's just like warm and I'm gonna sit here for like a little bit. All right, so I just kind of soaked my fingers and they're kind of pruny. I'm just gonna push my cuticles back. I don't have like a fancy tool or anything so i'm just kind of pushing them back myself the sponsor of today's video is skillshare and i'm really excited to be working with them you guys know i had a video with them a few videos back why the timing was so great with partnering with them is because i really do want to try and learn new hobbies and just learn new things even within like the lettering realm one class that i think is really interesting is they have one for bookkeeping for freelancers and you guys know it is tax season right now and i don't know i just feel like i could always learn more about just like keeping track of my business and my money and the expenses that I have and I do freelance work and obviously have the shop and all of that so I think that's a really cool course to take of course they have so many other courses there seriously are classes on everything if you're wanting to learn procreate there's some really great ones on there just teaching you the basics of procreate that's what I use to draw so I 10 out of 10 recommend getting a membership if you are like me and you're wanting to just like learn new things this year Skillshare is only $10 a month if you have a yearly subscription which is amazing it does not break the bank the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down in the description will actually get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So now that I have my cuticles pushed back, I'm going to take these little things. So I think you can technically rip your cuticles off with these, but I personally do not do that. What I do with these is I just like, if I have a hangnail or any just like noticeable skin on my fingers, I'll try and clip it off. I just recently got these from Target and I think they were like $10. I'm really trying to learn, like I said, to do my own nails at home. And I feel like I needed this to like really advance my skills. Go through and kind of clip those. Now that that is done, my nails are already super short because I cut them. Fun fact, with lettering, I cannot stand having long nails because when I do, they like dig into my hand. Let me know if you're a letterer and that bothers you too. Artist or honestly just a student. I remember in high school, I would get really like frustrated by that because my nails would be long and I'd be like taking notes. So I don't know if other people think about that, but it definitely bothers me. My nails are already very short right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like file them and kind of shape them up. Again, I'm not a professional, so I'm not like that great at doing this, but I just like to get some of the jagged edges out because mine are kind of crazy. Now's the fun part of like actually picking out the colors that you're gonna paint your nails. So of course you could do just like one base color on all of your nails, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Last time I did a different color on every single nail, which kind of was a lot, so I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do like every other nail or if I wanna do one hand, one color, the other hand, another color. That's kind of fun to do. I really like these like pastels, so I might do like pastel blue. Honestly, yeah, I think I'm gonna do pastel blue. Oh, sparkles. That could be fun. Wait, could I do cow print with sparkles over it? Might be on something. I think last time I did this blue with this blue as the cow print. So cow print, I would do your darker color as the spots because it's hard to make it like super opaque when it's a light color, like on top of a dark color. So that is like one tidbit of information. So I like to do a pastel base and then I kind of like the monochromatic vibes of doing like the same color on top of it. So I might do that. I think that could be fun. Gee whiz, okay. So first things first, I'm gonna prime my nails because I have this like nail primer. You do not need to do this step. I just recently started doing it. I'm just like gonna throw 
this on this is so fun oh my gosh how have you guys been how is everyone's day i've not really been posting as much on youtube i've not been posting two times a week and i'm really sorry one thing i want to talk to you guys about is i've been very anxious recently and you know i'm a happy and like positive person but we all kind of go through like ebbs and flows just as humans and i feel like recently i've been a little bit anxious and not necessarily feeling completely myself. I think just like my workload recently. I'll keep talking, but I'm going to go ahead and put on the light blue on my nails. And I'll take you guys down so you can like see. But yeah, I've just been feeling like kind of anxious and just not myself. I think because I've been out of my routines. Like I haven't been working out consistently. I wasn't waking up like as early as I was. And I just wasn't feeling like myself and that kind of translated i think to me feeling anxious i wasn't spending time with god which is important to me and just doing the things to like fill me up every day I kind of recognized that i had like a breakdown a few days ago to devon i just was like crying and i was like dev like i just feel overwhelmed and i think part of it had to do with just like taxes because it is tax season and you know i was doing those and sending them over to our cpa we had a lot of launches we're moving really really soon and i just i felt i was feeling it so that's just a reminder that we all go through phases of life that just seem more hard and i hate saying it because i know how lucky i am and how much privilege i have in so many ways and you know i have this job that i love so don't at all think that like i'm not happy with my life because i i am i just wasn't happy i think with the way i was living my life because i was telling my friends today think about the time that you have felt like you're happiest like what what did that feel like for you what were you doing then and when i think about that the happiest version of myself is when i'm waking up early having my coffee i'm having some time with god I'm planning my day and like you know I get to work at a good time that way I'm not working late at night I'm eating foods that fuel my body all of these things that are like really important to me and when I'm doing those things I feel my best so I kind of had this moment where I'm like Lily you're not feeling right right now and it's because you're not doing those things so why don't you start to do those things again and I know it's easier said than done to like go back to having like a healthy great routine and waking up early like that's not easy just to turn on overnight and i totally understand that but i just need to start taking steps in the right direction again because i don't know if you guys have even been able to tell like i'm just not posting as much on instagram and i've just felt like really overwhelmed and we do have a lot on our plate right now but i know that i'm capable of doing the work that i have i just haven't been in the headspace I wanted to be in. So again, that's just like a reminder that it's normal to feel that way and you're not alone, I promise. And just know that things are gonna get better and better days are ahead. And I can already tell I'm feeling just better because I had that like realization within myself. I'm gonna go ahead and do now a second coat on my nails. And in terms of like nail tips, I really don't have that many for painting your nails. Well, I mean, I just have to be on a flat surface and I just try getting as close as i can to the edges like i usually do the center like i go down the center of my nail first if that makes any sense and then also to try and remember to paint the very tips of your nail like right here right on the actual tip of it because if you don't have polish there that's where your chips are gonna start and ever since i've been like sealing that I noticed that my nails last a lot longer and i also do get a lot of nail polish on my skin and what i do after is i just go in with a brush that i dip in nail polish remover and it like takes it all right off so i'm gonna go ahead and do my second coat if you guys are painting your nails at the same time do your second coat and then we will touch base in a second all right so i just did my second coat you guys can see it's the prettiest light blue color i love the shade so i'm letting my nails dry Big, big thing is just make sure your second coat is dry. That is the worst when you like spend all this time and then when we go to do the cow print, like if it got smudged or something, like that would just be sad. So I know it's annoying, but <laughs> take the time to let it dry. One thing I just was thinking about, I feel like this would be such a fun, like chatty, like little series where I can show you guys how I do different nail designs and we do our nails together. Because I was looking, I have these for French manicures, like the stickers. Like I wanna do a colorful French manicures. I'm gonna show you guys my flowers. I wanna try like other designs too. So let me know down below if you want this to be a series because I feel like it's kind of fun. But I'm gonna let my nails dry and I'll be right back. All right, now that my second coat is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my tools for the cow print part. 
So this is the exciting part of the video and probably the part of the video you've been wanting to watch. So what you need is a piece of aluminum foil. I use this to put my nail polish on. So for example, this is gonna be my cow print color, like the design color. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this onto the aluminum foil. That way I can dip and actually do the cow print portion. Then to do the design, I just use Q-tips, which is awesome because I feel like most people have Q-tips lying around. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna obviously take your scissors. Be careful because my nails are like barely dry. So just make sure you don't smudge them like trying to cut and stuff. I'm just gonna cut off the white part and you're just gonna have like the tube part of it. And then of course, if you were doing a multi-color cow print design, you could cut the other end and use the other end for another nail polish color, or you could just use other Q-tips. And I recently did get off Amazon these like different nail tools. And these are really nice to do like flowers and stuff like that. I do think they would be really good for the cow print part, but I want to show you guys how I did it with the Q-tips just because that's how I did it. Did I smear it? Okay, no. So I did it the first time. So I just folded my aluminum foil. I will give you guys a view of the table now. It's about to get crazy. You're going to put some of our blue onto here, whatever color you're using. I'll just start with that because I don't want to like waste it. And then taking the Q-tip that I cut, I'm going to start the actual cow print part of my design. And you're going to dip it. Make sure you really dip it in there. And then I'll start with my thumb. For cow print, the beauty of it, okay, so you're gonna see, like see how nothing went on there? You have to like re-dip it a few times to like get a good angle. But the beauty of cow print is that it is messy and it doesn't really matter how it looks and it's supposed to be like random and sporadic. So I don't have any like design plan at all and I just start doing shapes on my nails. I try not to make it like too thick because the thicker it is, it's gonna have to dry longer. That one's kind of thick though, so whatever. And you just dot all over your nails. It's super simple. So there's my first nail, not perfect. I did get it on my skin, but I'll wipe that at the end. But it's seriously so simple to do. So I'll do some more. My cow print is done and it's currently drying at the moment but I wanted to note that I don't have to do two coats of the cow print just because I picked a dark blue because like the base you know is like a light blue and it doesn't need another coat of it but depending on what nail polish you're using and what color was your base you might have to do another coat which I feel like would be a little bit difficult or maybe not I don't know the q-tip just can be like sometimes a little bit difficult to use so guys i'm trying to decide if i should do a coat of silver or if that's gonna be like too much and ruin that. okay i'm gonna think okay i've decided that before i do my top coat i'm going to clean up the edges of my nails got a lot of the cow print on my skin i take a little brush i think you could use a q-tip for this as well and then i put it in my nail polish remover and then i just go on my skin and i try and clean up the design usually i have to like brush back and forth a few times but it just makes my nails like the finished product look so much better okay so i cleaned up my skin and i feel like they look a lot better and i do think i'm gonna go ahead and put a glittery top coat over it i feel like it will be really really cute so you know what yolo let's just go for it <laughs> Okay, you can kind of see, but there's some glitter. I will say it kind of takes away from the cow print design a tad bit, but it's really, really cute. I like it. So that's it with the sparkles, and that's it without the sparkles. This, like I just said, you can see the cow print more, but this is kind of similar to what I did last time, so I wanted to make it a little bit different. One thing that'd be fun is you could do the glitter over just the base of your nail and then do the cow print over the glitter. I feel like that 
would be cute and i can say you can see the cow print more in person like on camera i feel like it's picking up all the sparkles like the light off of them my nails are not fully dry yet from the glitter but after they dry i'm gonna go ahead and put a top coat over them but because the tutorial part is like basically done i feel like i'll go ahead and wrap up the video please let me know down below how this tutorial worked for you please 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 tag me in pictures on instagram if you do cow print nails i would love to see and i hope you guys enjoyed i hope i made this semi easy and i feel like this was just like a fun relaxing video we did our nails together it was just it was just a fun time so thank you so much for joining me and please subscribe if you have not already i'm trying to get back on the video grind so and let me know if you'd like to see more tutorials for your nails because i have some really really fun ideas for that and i'm always on pinterest pinning nail stuff and i just i want to get so good to where i can like do them myself and people are like did you go to a salon? Subscribe if you want to stick around for that nail journey. And I'm going to be doing a lot more warehouse vlogs here shortly. I think I might film one tomorrow. So I should have one up pretty soon for you guys. And yeah, that is that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great day. Enjoy your cow print nails. Rock them. Yeah. Bye, guys.